I was in a narcissistic marriage for over 10 years, and it reached a whole new level when she tried to stab me with a knife. Where do I even start? My wife of 10 years has been displaying emotional use towards me and our oldest daughter for 10 years now. It used to be rare, enough where it wouldn't impact us, but the past year has been dreadful. Our daughter is becoming a teenager, and she isn't taking her SHT anymore. I often have to get involved and stand up for my daughter to calm my wife down. But then I'm the bad guy. I'm depressed as F. I can't stand my wife anymore. I'm to the point now where the only reason I'm in this marriage is because of the kids. I often have to lie to her to avoid confrontation. What's worse is that we fight. They're long, I am criticized if I stand up for myself, and they are frequent, four times a week lately. So I just don't even try with that anymore, my opinion doesn't matter. So I lie about how I feel, etc. Sometimes she'll yell at me for stuff that needs to be done that she doesn't think needs to be done. Example, today there was in kitchen electronic in the sink. She put it there. She needed my help for something else, but I had to get the electronics out of the sink in case one of the kids turned the water on. She didn't like that, said it was stupid to pay attention to something other than her, and said I don't know how to respect people. Forget about the safety of our children in possessions. That brings me to another point. She breaks our stuff during fights. When I do stand up to her, she will just start throwing stuff. Anything, TV remotes, pictures, frames, drywall, and dishes. Over a year ago, she broke a 42 inches TV. She used to blame me for getting her that mad, but I retaliated and told her that I didn't throw it, it wasn't my fault. Most of the fights with her and me and my daughter are about us not helping out enough around the house. Forget about me having a full-time job, working 45 hours a week, being a part-time student, and studying to get promoted in the military. What sucks is that even if I follow her lead to the team, I get yelled at because I took too long or I don't have my priorities right. If I do stuff without her telling me to, it doesn't meet her standards, etc. Her method and timing of arguments are so flawed. Today, she made me late for work just to argue with me. If this were a civilian job, I would get fired. When I do tell her that I have to leave to avoid being late, she usually says, your work is always more important than mine. No, it's not. It's a job that provides for this family, and providing for this family is more important than your 7am argument. I feel like I'm the only one who cares about the family as a whole, not just my wife. My daughter always stays away from my wife as much as possible, but it is hard for her to because of all the family interaction. We are trying to teach her responsibility, so she has a few chores. When they don't get done, her mother uses her, sometimes worse than she does me. This is where I step in. Our daughter's emotional health is going downhill. Her doctor says it's ADHD, but I know better. It's her lack of motivation. She needs to see a psychiatrist and get away from her mother. It only gets worse from here. Our youngest is starting to have daytime wedding accidents. I have concluded that they're related to the psychological stress that she is causing. Since he is a boy, I would find it hard to be a UTI. Oh yeah, and I'm likely taking a civilian job and moving to our home state by the end of the year. My wife plans to take the kids with her. As for the efforts to fix this, I've tried. I try to make her happy, be romantic, and never pay attention to anything but her, but it doesn't work. She knows that she has a problem, especially the throwing objects part, but she refuses to see a psychiatrist. I know she won't get fixed if she doesn't see one. So this is where I need your help. What power do I, as a man, have over my wife to get me and the kids out of her abusive household? I do plan on divorcing her within the next year and a half, and I want to make every effort possible to get my kids out of this situation so that they can live a mentally healthy lifestyle. If you think there is no chance of me getting custody, let me know. Edit 1. The wife's abusive behavior is affecting kids psychologically. They are planning a divorce but need evidence to prove a use. Update 1. Last night, my wife threatened me with a butcher knife to make me leave the house. To cut to the chase, our son started running in fear and hit his head. I called the cops. I also had a partial video of her chasing me with the knife. The cops came and saw the video. Along with all of the family members agreeing that my wife had a butcher knife in her hand and threatened to use it, she was booked for DV. Today I feel like SHT. I, along with my son, have a protective order against her. My family and her family are calling us from several states away to mediate the situation. No one on her side wants to admit it's her fault, they're blaming me for it. On top of that, my daughter is mad at me and blames me for all of this. My son and daughter want me to drop the charges. My wife has also communicated that she wants to work on this together, and that there is still a chance to save this relationship. On one hand, I believe this is just a bait-and-run plan on her part, hoping that I fall for it. Let the protective order expire, and then she takes the kids and runs. On the other hand, she does sound sincere since she is admitting that she needs to see a shrink and that she hasn't screwed up our finances yet. What do you guys think? Edit, for those of you wondering, 
I have talked to a lawyer. I do like him so far, but finances are tight. I will likely be getting a debt consolidation loan or filing for bankruptcy. Right now, I am getting into contact with free legal assistance programs, but I don't know what I qualify for. Also, the kid's reaction is the exact opposite of what I expected. I expected my daughter to support me since she has taken most of the abuse from her mother, but instead she wants me to lift the order to make things go back to normal. My son, who is the golden child, has told me that he doesn't want to see his mom again because he is scared of her. I know he is young and doesn't know what he is saying, but that took me by surprise. Other than that, they are taking it well, and I will be getting their insurance to extend their therapy visits. TLDR, I got a restraining order put up against my narcissistic wife. Now what? Update 2. So I had a permanent protective order hearing this week. I show up with my lawyer, and my STBX wife shows up with no representation. We show some of the videos I took, showing a use from her on myself and both kids. Her only defense was about how she has been attending therapy sessions, anger management classes, etc. It did look like she had better control over her self-discipline. The judge ruled in my favor, gave me custody of the children, sole access to residence, extended the protective order to the maximum two years, and only gave her visitation with supervision. Contact can only be made regarding visitation and finances. The reason for finances is because we have co-signed on multiple credit lines. Before anyone asks, I can cover all of our co-credit lines but one. Since then, she has called me every day, begging me to drop the protective order, which is a violation of the order itself. I mention this every time, and she responds with every scumbag Stacy line that you could think of, like you're so cold, any reasonable person would fight for their wife, etc. I am not going to report any of the violations until the final check clears in our joint checking account, and that's a rent payment. I had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her and told her that I needed therapy for possible PTSD caused by her action. I even mentioned that I'm in the military. I'm supposed to get PTSD from being in the desert, not at home from my wife. She cries and admits that it is her fault and that she can never forgive herself for doing this to her kids and her husband. Shockingly, there were no threats of self-harm. I guess this is a good sign. She understands that her actions have a negative impact on others. That is the first time that she admits to it. Before, she would just say, disagree with it and man up. She also claims that she has no memory of some of her episodes, like one of the videos shown in court. I believe that she is just in denial, but that's just my speculation. What sucks even more is that I've been watching some documentaries on YouTube and Netflix. A couple on Scientology, another one was Dear Zachary. Yikes. Talk about some depressing documentaries that I can sadly relate to. The woman in Dear Zachary, Shirley Turner, is a raging psycho and says so many things that remind me of my STBX wife, although I don't think my wife would unalive. The manipulation techniques pointed out in the Scientology documentaries are similar to what my wife did. There is no chance of us getting back together and I have told her that divorce papers will be served on her soon. I'd like to thank Reddit for the support. I have a close co-worker who has been through something similar that I have been talking about as well. But every now and then, I have to validate my sanity, and I reread the posts that you all have put up. TLDR, one custody of children, psycho wife can only have supervised contact, but she is getting better. There is still no chance in hell of us getting back together. Update 3. The past two weeks have been an emotional roller coaster for me. My STBX wife, against whom I have a protective restraining order, is not in good condition. Initially, after I won the two-year hearing, she was slowly getting onto her feet. Her father came down and talked some sense into her. She still had her job and managed to get a place to stay. Her finances were in perfect order, which is a good thing. She had a roof, a job, transportation, and enough money for food and child support. All seemed to be going well. And then her dad left. She hasn't made a single rational choice since. She pissed off her roommates, especially after she was arrested again. More on that later. They kicked her out. As of right now, I think she is living in a motel. What's worse is what happened last week. She had court at around noon for the assault charges and protective order violations. I was called to witness. So that day, she calls me up at 8.30am and tells me that she is going to swallow a bottle of pills. She is very persistent and sounds quite convincing. I told her not to, emailed her the self-harm help hotline, called it myself and they recommended that I call 911. I did, and the police showed up at her door to make sure she was okay. She answers and claims that she has done no such thing and that I was calling the cops in an attempt to make her late for court. WTF. So basically, she used the self-harm threat as bait to get me to call the cops on her before her court time. Luckily, there are no charges for contempt. After the trial, they told her that she was on probation. Then, of all things, she shows up at my house that night, 
pounding on the door so that she can say goodbye to the kids before she unalive herself. Yeah, not happening. I call the cops again, and then she flees before they show up. She got picked up the day after and sent to jail, which is why her roommates kicked her out. That was twice in two days that the cops showed up. She has since threatened self-harm many more times. I don't take her threats seriously anymore since they might be bait, like last time. I am seeing a therapist now, and he reassures me that I need to stand my ground and that I cannot, under any circumstances, let her back in. I have no intentions of letting her back in, ever, for that matter. I've since blocked her number and blocked her on Facebook. Another thing that I found interesting is that my therapist said that in his 30 years of experience, this case takes the cake. I don't know what my plan is from here, but I plan on only having recorded conversations with her and will likely move to another house or apartment when my lease expires this summer. TLDR, wife is out of control, lost her room, and is now homeless. She used self-harm as bait to try to get me into contempt. Final update. First, read my previous posts, there's a lot to take in. I'll try to do a quick summary. Last year, around November or December, I uncovered the truth about my wife. I knew that she had a temper that would get into some uncontrollable rages, but the full extent was never known to me. She also claimed she was self-harming, which I now know was a method of hers to control me. I started to notice that the children would come out of their rooms or come back inside when I got home from work. I asked my daughter for more details, and she explained that her mother's rages were terrible, very emotionally and physically violent. Both children were having psychological problems, such as a DD in my daughter and daytime wedding in my son. I finally got a few recordings of her using our children. In one argument, she came after me with a knife. I got this recorded and called the cops. She was arrested, I got a restraining order against her, and the rest is history. She's pleaded guilty to misdemeanor assault and several counts of restraining order violations since. All jail time is suspended. I've been granted custody. Looking back at it, wow. How much I have changed in the past year. And I can't believe how stupid my STB ex-wife really is. I always saw her as intelligent and thoughtful. But now I know that she is very stupid and incapable of seeing other people's perspectives. She constantly sends me emails that are court gold, as my attorney says. Although we have been doing quite well settling many things outside of court, she acts like a true narcissist. She is so good at creating that false image. But I'm always one step ahead of the game and have the evidence to exploit her faults. Most of the issues are with how she communicates with me and talks to the kids. She claims that I'm holding her back from her visitation rights by, waiting for it, asking what times she wants to visit them. She says that this is annoying and that she shouldn't have to repeat herself. She will then say, well, back on August 6th, I sent an email, so just go back and check that. If you're not there at the time that I requested, then I'm telling the judge that you're not compliant. And I just respond by telling her that if she really cares about the children, then she would have no problem repeating the times she wants to see them. The funny thing is, when I go back to check my emails on that day, there are six lengthy emails, all criticism and her venting. Then, in the third email, in the second paragraph, she mentions the time for her next request. I have since put forth some guidelines, one of them telling her to be short and to the point for emails regarding visitation. Again, she didn't like that. My kids are doing great. My daughter wants nothing to do with her and doesn't participate in the visitation. My son has to go, being younger and all. When he does go, she tries to alienate him from me. This has caused some problems with him at home, but I'm working with his therapist to get these fixed. He has improved a lot over the past month. I've been doing great. I have a lot more self-confidence. My finances aren't in the best of shape, but I'll be fine. I could go on all day. Heck, I'm even thinking of starting a subreddit titled My Narcissistic Ex-Wife's Emails. But I'll wait until the divorce is final for that one. TLDR, divorcing predictable narcissist, got custody, doing so much better. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.